In two weeks, we drive up to Scotland to pick up the keys for our new house. We're buzzing to get up there and actually see the cottage again because the first and only time we viewed it, we only had about half an hour. The cottage was built in the 1890s, so it needs a lot of love to bring it back to life. The plan whilst the renovations are happening is to live in our bus. But as you can see, Custard has got a couple of problems that we need to fix. Oh my God. Are we gonna fix it? No. The roof is leaking. What have you done? It's pretty rusty and it needs another deep clean. So this week, we are gonna get Custard as ready as possible to head out for a cold Scottish winter. And we had some unexpected news from Gary. Uh, telling us that he's got cancer. Morning lads, happy new year. Hope you've all had a cracker. Feels good to be back. We're actually gonna be living in this for the whole entire renovation. So we need to make sure it's livable. The roof is still leaking, which is brilliant. So we're going to the only man on the planet who can help. You know who he is. Looking at the forecast for Scotland, it's been like minus 12, which is mental. So I think we're gonna have a bit of a shocker when we go up there, especially trying to get this up the drive, because last time we tried to get up our driveway, this is what happened. Oh, that's it. Jesus. might need some snow chains but we got some at Gary, so we'll pick them up too it's really nice to have a, a break over christmas catch up with all of our loved ones and now we're back in the game back in custard vlogging again okay so we've just got down to gary's workshop and i completely forgot that he has got a new member of his family everybody meet ivy <laughs> Yeah, how are you doing? Ah, oh, you're so cute and you smell like a puppy. Yeah. Oh, watch your heads, watch your heads. Okay, let me go and show you where I live. Not for long though, because I don't know if we mentioned, but me and Uncle Craig have got a new house. This is our bus, called Custard. What do you think? It smells a bit. Yeah, yeah, I can understand that. Go explore. You look so tiny. <laughs> you like it? You want to live with me? I tell your dad that we're going to adopt you instead. You could come live with us. So, as you can see, there used to be an aircon unit by here. And if you watch our Norway series, you would have seen the cover blew off. Yeah? Aircon units come off. That's why it was dripping. Where's that? The electrics got wet and it stopped working. So we've been sent a new aircon unit. So we're gonna stick that on the top. It's actually stopped raining. So we've got some blue skies as well. Another problem we've got is this whole roof is leaking. I have no idea where from. Now might be a good time to look. Ah, the joys of van life, eh? Shut up, I'm trying to vlog. It's been here for a while. This is the one we had before, before it ripped off in the storm in Norway. So we're just gonna replace it, pop this back in. All right, so even though we did leave Custard the bus in a pretty good condition, it does smell a little bit still. Uh, so just gonna give it a good once over. A while ago, we spilt like a bunch of soy sauce in this drawer. This is the drawer that the mice got into. See, they've made like a little den. They took all the wrapping off our bean tin, made a little den in this drawer. But we did come up a few days ago and unfortunately one had met an untimely death. I don't actually wanna talk about it because uh, the guilt that I hold still to this day. Obviously he jumped in the bin, but he just couldn't get back out again. But I guess at least we know now that there's none in the van anymore. So that's a good thing, I suppose. I feel so bad. There's so much that we could do with this bus. It needs a lot of work and we don't have that time right now because obviously we're going to go back up to Scotland very soon. So honestly, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I feel like I've lived in this house a thousand times because all I've been doing is thinking about living in it and like, you know, talking to architects and builders, envisioning how the extension's going to look. And I just feel like I've lived there my whole life already. But we've only spent about half an hour in the actual house. I just can't wait to get up there. If anyone is looking for an Indel B aircon unit, you can have our old one, but we did buy a brand new lid for it, which was 330 quid. So if you think you can fix it, it's all yours. Pick up from Gary's workshop. Just shoot us a DM on Instagram. First come, first serve. Cause yeah, it is like a two grand unit, but we don't know how to fix it. So if you want to give it a go, let us know. All right, here she is. Ready for a new unit. It should be coming down there shortly. I think Trev's inside cleaning, so she tells me anyway, she's probably cuddling with the puppy. Can you just imagine us having a little one in the bus? I can. Come on, keep her, come on, keep her, come on, keep her. She is literally off the floor. <laughs> Let's get packing. <laughs> 
every time I open this drawer, I'm a little bit worried that a mouse is going to jump out. We're just getting rid of everything that come in here. It's a bit of a mess. It's got stink. And that's the culprit. The soy sauce there. See if it's half full? It's all over the floor, see? It's mouse poo. I'm coming up. This one, is this what you want? The last time we were in Scotland, this is how many bottles of whiskey, full bottles, Craig took. Five bottles of whiskey. I mean, I know we're Scottish now, technically, but uh, he's going to have to choose one or two to take. Maybe a couple of testers, little sample pots. Ah. Oh, in my ear, love. I don't have the heart to sell them because they're halfway through already and the guy with the forklifts come but um, there's actually Scotland we're moving to. I don't think we're going to be. Hello there. Anything that looks dodgy is Gary's work. <laughs> Plug that plug in. Oh no, that's covered in silicone. That's what those uh, wipes are for. Watch it not work now. Don't work. Just like Craig, don't work. <laughs> Fantastic! Oh, it's been so long since we've had that. You can see how warped the ceiling is now, yeah. where the leaf, the roof has been leaking in. That's next job. Should we have a look at that? Let's do it. We also need to fix this. Don't think we can fix that. Sean did that. Sean did that. Sean's fault. And this trailer board is hanging off as well. Uh, we need to fix that. Look at that. It's like a little box. Any posts for custard? Stick it in there. You're not supposed to put more holes in it. What are you doing, man? felt left out so I got my own ladder. They found a hole in the roof, Craig. <laughs> that one there just now. <laughs> I repaired that. Where's my repair piece gone? Hang on, let's fix it. There we are. That's right. done. Good as new. What hole? <laughs> He's laughing at my repair job. What's wrong with that? Oh my god. Are we going to fix it? How? <laughs> yeah, it's soaking underneath all of it. As always, this is worse than we first suspected. What Gary's done is he's copied mine but just made it better. A big thanks to BetterHelp for being a pay partner of this channel. So it's no secret that both Craig and I have benefited from therapy, not just individually, but together also. But you might be thinking, what can it do for me? Well, in my opinion, it's just a better way to understand yourself. It's not just talking with somebody for an hour. They can actually help you like develop coping skills and strategies and like make a plan for you going forward that's gonna help you. And trust me, we need that homework when we're in couples therapy. If you're thinking about prioritizing yourself this year and working on your mental health for any reason at all, you can go to BetterHelp. All you do is fill out a questionnaire which will help match you with your therapist. In most cases, this is done within 48 hours. And if that person doesn't feel right, then you can change it at no additional cost. Then you can have your calls as audio calls or video calls or even just messaging if you prefer that. You can also schedule your calls for whatever is best for you. And it's just, it's not scary. Don't worry. Therapy is so, so common. And we always say that we think everyone should have been appointed a therapist at birth because life can just be so hard, man. They're there to help. They're there to help you. So if you think it might be your time, you want to invest in yourself a little bit, and you think you might benefit from therapy, then give better help a shout. So click the link in the description, and by using our link, it gets you 10% off your first month of better help. So give it a go. We really hope it helps. Just had a phone call from Gary to say the bus roof is leaking worse than it was before. Trevor's an island with a mum, so I'm going down to fix a job. If you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself, haven't you? This is what we're working with, lads. This is the ceiling. And this is where it's leaking in. Here's the state of the ceiling. I think we're just gonna take it all down and rebuild it. So Gary's sealed the roof as best as he can and he's gone on holiday, so it's just me down the workshop today. Uh, I'll show you what we're working with. Trev's gonna be fuming with this. He's in absolute state. So this has come down, which is like the frame for this. Everything's just moldy and warped. Like a stop dripping through there. So Gary suggested that I just take the middle section of the ceiling down. <laughs> Partly because it's so wonky. Look at this speaker. Like that's supposed to be flat against that, but it's just so warped. So yeah, I'm gonna have to wreck the place basically. 
start again. I thought we'd do a quick few jobs, ready to go up to Scotland, and we'll be on our way, but no. Custard had some other ideas. So she's up on blocks to make the water run away from where the leak is. But the leak is everywhere, so it didn't work. God, it's so good. It's all electrics. But that's real good fun, isn't it? Lucky Gary's not here. I'm about to fill up the workshop with all of our stuff. Keep the kettle. Don't want him getting damaged. Custard, you have seen better days, love, haven't you? Habit starter kits. We don't want to get this wet, do we? If you haven't tried Habit tea, it's the best in the world, mate. What are you doing? Go to the website and buy some. This surfboard needs to come down as well because they're going to take this ceiling down. He hasn't seen much action, to be honest. So hopefully when we get up to Scotland, I'll be at Aberdeen Beach. So if that's where you surf, I'll see you there. A little bit dusty. Didn't even need to unscrew this speaker, it just fell out of the ceiling. Eh? I need a spanner. The worst part about being on your own is that you can't ask anybody to go and get you tools because there's no one here. Let's just see how easy this is going to be. The insulation is soaking wet. God, that is minging. Someone suggested before that we call this bus rusted. I think we should. And there's a big fat hole there. Snips. Electrical tape. <laughs> Got ya. We're getting there. Ooh, that's that disgusting. <laughs> bit of wood filler on that bit, it'd be fun. Now it's actually starts raining. I can see where the water's gonna leak from. Oh yeah, everywhere. <laughs> Alright. We sent some pictures to Gary, he's assessed the damage and he said that we need to put a whole new piece in because we can't save that hole. This is the hole in question. So for now I'm just going to fill it full of sealant because it's still leaking. And then when Gary gets back from his holidays, we'll do a proper repair job. And then rebuild the ceiling and put the lights back in. Half a day's work, easy. Back at the bus, come to assess the damage. I think we've decided between us, me and Gary, Gary's back now, thank God. We're going to have to cut out most of the roof. <laughs> it's rested too badly. The stuff I put on actually worked really well. All of this was like orange rust. All of this. Look at it. It's all coming up nice. It used to be like like this part. It looks amazing already. So I'll show you what it looks like now. So it's converted a lot of the rust, which is great. Honestly, if you're doing a van build, this is the stuff you want to get. It's pretty good. Right. Here he is. Talking to the devil. It's cold. <laughs> it is cold, isn't it? What's the plan then, mate? I don't think we got one yet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take it out and uh, cut out the bad bits yeah. and try and get it right. Operation, remove the skylight. Oh wow, look at that. This is what we're left with. Oh, I think we've got it. Wait. Wow, 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 here we are. Sealant from 1929. That was when Gary was born. We're playing the game, find the good metal. <laughs> show you how this stuff comes out. This has actually blown my mind. So this used to be orange, rusty, and minging. Could be here all week, mate. Yeah. I think these are blunt. You've got to be joking. There's no way that's going to happen. It's a nice straight job there, Craig. Congratulations. This is what we were working with. So the leak was coming through. I found a hole in the roof, Craig. <laughs> that one there just now. <laughs> Next job requires a fire extinguisher. Got my fire extinguisher. We got the MIG welder in here. Look at this big dog. Gary's about to get up on the roof. And he's told me he's going to give me a spray bottle for the sparks just in case. Ah, <laughs> oh, Kested. He's getting fixed though. All right, this is where we're at. Brand new piece in there. Beautifully done by uh, Gary. So now we need to clean it off, paint it, drop the skylight back in, reseal it. Jobs are good and rebuild the ceiling, clean the bus, pack the bus, drive to Scotland. And we got about two days to do it. 
Easy. Now it's time for some paint. If this bus leaks after all this, I'm literally going to just set it on fire. All right, after a full day. Oh my bed. God, what have you done? You mean, oh wow, that's amazing. What a great job. Um, yeah, that looks great. Have a look from outside. It's I don't really know what I'm looking at, but... Yeah, brand new piece. Painted, rust proof, ready for a new skylight. Well, the same skylight, we're just going to tidy it up a bit. And that, my friends, was a 8 till 4 job. Go on, what have we got to say? Oh, wow, that looks great. Yeah, wicked. How have you managed that? Welded it, grinded it down and painted it. That looks amazing. You can see the old bit there, look. That's immaculate. Well done. It was mainly me. Gary chipped yeah, in. I'm sure. Yeah. He chipped in a little bit. So where do we go from here? Come back Monday and stick it in. Oh, you come down this morning and Gary's halfway finished on the bloody skylight. Look at it. Looks great. Morning, guys. Um, day three on the massive roof renovation project. I don't exactly know where they're at with it, but I'm told it's going to get finished today because I don't know if I told you, but we're actually going skiing tomorrow with a bunch of friends, which is going to be awesome in Bulgaria. Usually you wouldn't get me up this early, um, but there's just one thing, that would. And my ear. We're just going to play for most of today. Oh, and I'll show you what Christmas presents I got as well, because I know you're all dying to see. So as you all know, um, we've got a new house. What do you think is like major necessary tool wise for us to take with us. I'm kind of hoping we could just nick it from Gary's workshop and he won't notice. <laughs> Let us know what you think we're going to absolutely need for when we get up there. Seal the roof. We found another leak. So we've taken the skylight out of the bathroom. Look at the state of this. You can see it's rotting all the wood there. So we can clean all this up and do it all again. It'll look very nice actually. <laughs> Grind spanking. Grind and repaint rusty bits. Connect battery. Mustn't let them touch the black, obviously. Oh, God. 10 a.m. Porridge. Porridge. <laughs> right. And drugs. Porridge and drugs time. <laughs> <laughs> what drugs are we having? Kappa Kitabine. Accord. <laughs> Something like that. So at the end of last year, we had a phone call from Gary. A phone call you never want to get. Uh, telling us that he's got cancer. How did you find out? I was getting constipated all the time and uh, it was getting worse and worse. So I went to the quacks and uh, he gave me some tablets. It worked, but then after I stopped taking the tablets, it came back. Went back to the doctors and he said, oh, try some more. I said, no, there's something going on. They said, look, there's a bit of blood in your poo, so we think we've got to send you for a, a camera up your bottom. So said, look, I found a blockage in your bowel. I think it's cancer. So we hung about and they done the scan. On the Monday, straight after, we had a phone call. He said, look, it is cancer, but he said, it's only in your bowel. It's very concentrated. You haven't affected any of the organs as we can see on the CT scan, but we need to do an operation. So he said, we're going to do an operation within four to six weeks. And that was it. It knocked me out straight away and uh, woke up and I couldn't move at all because uh, they'd done it with keel surgery and a, a ro robotic thing operation. I was in hospital for a while and uh, well, a week. And that was it. They sent us home and uh, we're slowly on the mend. So uh, now it's uh, back and forth. Uh, they've had more blood out of me than I, than I had, I think, uh, doing all these tests. I'm on these chemotherapy tablets now. It, it, it's quite frightening, but uh, I'm getting used to them. So it's uh, two weeks, two weeks of uh, tablets. And the thing I gotta say, if anyone feels ill, go see a quack sooner than later. Because that's what I've done, and it's uh, <coughs> soon I'll be well. That's it, really. Oh, then. Is that? <laughs> He's doing all right. He's doing all right now, but um. Yeah, scary time, because he's our Gary. Do you know what I mean? We'd be lost without him. I know. And so to have that news, it was a lot. It puts life into perspective, I think, when you get news like that from someone that you care about a lot, someone that you love, you know? So this is the book they give you, and it tells you uh, 
graph you've got to fill in. So what have you had out of all of these? Just the tightness. Just the tightness. Tightness and ones. Today I might put a two there. With moderate on it this morning, but uh, it's like we've been working you out, guy. <laughs> <laughs> we love him so much that we've always been so worried about anything happening. We're like, we could never live without Gary, we couldn't, yeah. And it, it was just such a shock and so scary, and just like, oh, just a heart just sunk thinking, where are we at with it? Like, mm. what what's the plan, uh, uh, and and how do we sort this as soon as possible, you know? That there's the wise head went on. He's such a funny, life-loving guy. I don't think I've ever seen Gary angry or, or sad. Yeah, that's the thing. I think that's the first time I've seen him cry. So it is a lot, you know, when you get that news and it's a lot to deal with. And I think Gary's very, like, puts on a happy face for everyone, but it's, he's going through a lot. And, and I'm, you know, we're really proud of how he's dealing with it, as he always does. So yeah, if you are watching this and you've got any like things that you're worried about, go to the doctors. Check your boobs, check your balls. And I just want to say one last thing, like Gat, I know it was really tough for you to say that story. We're so proud of you, honestly, and we love you so much. And I think by you telling your story, not only will it help everybody, you know, um, think about early detection and going to see the doctors if they feel they need it, but, but a lot of men as well that may be too afraid to talk or too afraid to even go, I think it's going to really help everyone, so. Well done. Listen to Gary, get to the doctors, get to the quacks. I promise you I'd show you when I had for Christmas. Now, because we're moving into a new house, I know, I hope, we're gonna have a little bit more time for hobbies this year. And I've wanted to do a few things for a while, but obviously because we travel so much, I haven't had much time. So, <laughs> I was gonna buy them myself. And then I mentioned when we were in New York, oh, I would love to start tap dancing. So Craig, the beautiful husband Holmes that he is, got me a pair for Christmas, I accidentally put my name on the package, so I opened them. So it wasn't much of a surprise, but the big surprise is, I actually got Craig a pair as well. So, uh, <laughs> um, they are the cheaper version, I do apologise Craig. They are second hand, but it's because I didn't know if you'd stick with it. So they're, they're huge. <laughs> if I'm going to start tap dancing, then obviously you can get involved as well and we can do it together. You said I wanted to do your hobby. I think you'll be great at it. Right, let me pop these on. Watch this now. Three, two, one. I'll give it three months. And this will get me fit as well, I think, for learning the bagpipe. So it's really good. What are you laughing for, guy? I want to see you playing the bagpipes and you're doing tap dancing. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you follow us on Instagram, you'll have already seen this. I thought it was a tent and I was like, oh, fantastic. Thanks, Craig. But it's not. We've got ourselves a set of bagpipes, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how you turn them on. I don't know how, how they go. So they've just <laughs> stayed in the bag for a while. But when I put that on Instagram, people were like, oh no, you don't just go straight into learning the bagpipes. First of all, you need to get yourself a chanter. I'm, I'm guessing you have to assemble this. And a one. A two. I should have my tap dancing shoes. <laughs> all right, all right. We need some online lessons with that. How do you play the chanter? These must do something. They must do something. But where would they go? In the bottom, do you think? Try that, blow that. <laughs> you think it would come with instructions, didn't you? Just in there like that, do you reckon? How to put your bag right together. <laughs> 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 you just ran over the cat. <laughs> Shut up, is that what it makes? It's on its own. Got a long way to go, Luke. <laughs> like a snake charmer. Go on, put your back into it. <laughs> okay, after a solid few days, this is the brand new skylight installation. This is all glued. There's a new piece of steel here. It's all been sprayed. And it should be watertight. It's going to be a wet, snowy, cold time in Scotland, so we're going to need this bus to be watertight. Right, Gar, tell me what you've done. Craig took the uh, skylight out and cleaned up the rust, and we're just gluing it back down. So unfortunately, this was leaking like everything else. I know it's a mess. She's a complete state. There's paint chipped off her everywhere. We've tried to 
fix up bits with like darker greens and whites on creams and stuff she's a bit of a disaster right now i know that but if we can fix her up a bit get the rust sorted get the the roof non-leaky then we still do want to take her to canada and america but it will be next year now because obviously we're going to be doing a house renovation this year and hopefully get all that lovely spick and span ready for it to just be our place that we can come back to every time we do go off and travel so i do have good plans for the bus to ship her over to america and canada next year before then have a complete like overhaul of everything we need doing get a different wrap on her completely and just make her look the bee's knees because she is the bee's knees yeah 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 here here major leak sorted second leak sorted third leak sorted word of the day sorted i think i hear trouble the idea <laughs> how you been did you miss me did you have a nice nap We've managed 4 out of 11 <laughs> but 4 big jobs done. Doesn't look like much when you see it at the end but it's just yeah one thing after another. We'll have to finish it when we get back I think. Don't forget your shoes love. Thanks babes. <laughs> I guess dude.